John McRae was a physician in World War I and treated many fallen soldiers. His poem In Flanders Fields is about the tragedy surrounding the large amount of deceased soldiers, the natural beauty around their graves, and the question of whether the next generation should carry on the soldiers' battle. The poem was first published in 1915. I want to start this video by reading the poem out loud, and then we will move on to a quick analysis. In Flanders fields, the poppies blow, between the crosses, row on row, that mark our place, and in the sky, the larks still bravely singing, fly, scars heard amid the guns below. We are the dead, short days ago, we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe, to you from failing hands we throw, the torch be yours to hold it high, if ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields. What is described here in this first paragraph is a war field which is covered in crosses, symbolizing and marking the graves of all those who have died. In between the crosses, poppies have grown and are now blowing in the wind. In World War I, these flowers actually grew on the graves of fallen soldiers. They have since become the symbol for remembering World War I. The poet describes a bird flying in the sky, singing a song, but you cannot hear it because of all the gunshots and violence on the ground. The final sentence of this paragraph refers to how you can barely hear the birds. In the second paragraph, the poet is humanizing the fallen soldiers, telling the reader about how they were alive, enjoyed sunsets, and loved, yet now they lie dead on the battlefield in Flanders fields. The last paragraph asks the reader to continue the fight with the enemy, passing on the torch to a new group of soldiers. The final lines are quite dark. They state that if the fight is not continued, the dead will never find peace, even though the field is covered in beautiful poppies. Such a powerful poem that presents a way of remembering the absolute horrors of World War I. I hope this video was in some way helpful for you. For more videos like this one, head over to my channel Illustrated and Explained. 